a civic negligence and crumbling infrastructure have become a reality of urban India. Civic callousness continues to claim lives in our cities. On Wednesday, a youth in Hyderabad on his way home was electrocuted after he stepped on a rod which was in contact with a live wire and was killed on the spot. Meanwhile, on Sunday, a 24-year-old woman died after a concrete slab from the Amir Pet a metro station in Hyderabad fell on her. On September 12th in Chennai, 23-year-old Subhashree died after an illegal banner knocked her off her two-wheeler and she was then crushed to death by a truck. And on September 23rd, a youth in Navi Mumbai was severely injured after he stepped on an open wire left on the road. These are uh, most recent instances that we are getting you. But let's talk about the most recent incident, uh, incident which happened where a 23-year-old fitness instructor was electrocuted to death in Hyderabad last night. Adam Jordan was returning to his hostel from the gym uh, when, according to the cops, he stepped on an iron rod that was in contact with a live wire. He was killed on the spot. Now, remember, this is a second civic negligence death in less than a week in Hyderabad alone. Paul joining us on the phone line. Paul, extremely uh, horrific. The second uh, death due to civic negligence that we are seeing here. What can you tell us about uh, this particular case? Uh, why was that wire left out in the open in any case? Well, there are several unanswered questions, Avni, and uh, several people are taking uh, to social media to say how scared they are to step out during the rain uh, in Hyderabad. Because in the span of one week, we have seen two deaths caused by civic apathy, both being now called as freak accidents. This particular one is of Adam Mark Jordan, who was a fitness instructor, all of 23 years old. He had come all the way from Kolkata to make a living in Hyderabad. He was popular among uh, his uh, students. Uh, he was heading back home after a session at one of the popular gyms uh, in Hyderabad. And that is when he was cycling home. He stepped into a pothole, which is filled with water. It had an iron rod there. Uh, as soon as he came in contact with that, uh, he he was immediately uh, electrocuted and he died on the spot because that iron rod was in contact with a live wire. Now the question is, how did that live wire uh, come there? Because um, the cops are saying that the owner of the building had trimmed the trees and probably that time that got snapped. And why wasn't it um, rectified by the civic authorities is the question. Because it could have been anyone. In this particular case, it was Adam Mark Jordan. It could have been anyone else. In, in other cities as well, we are seeing incidents, especially when it rains in potholes uh, filled with water. It makes it even more difficult for pedestrians to uh, navigate through uh, the inundation. So such kind of uh, stray incidents only make makes it even more difficult. And this particular incident, immediately he had to be rushed to Usmani General Hospital. Uh, and like I said, the people in Hyderabad are scared because it was only a few days ago that Munika died in again in another freak accident wherein uh, a part of the slab crumbled and fell on her head. Uh, she was spot dead at Amirpet Metro Station. So civic apathy time and again coming to light. Uh, it has been raining heavily and such kind of incidents only make it even more tougher uh, for residents of uh, the city. They're demanding that uh, civic authorities take note and do much more than they are now doing to ensure that such freak accidents do not take place. Right. So, Paul, have the civic have the civic authorities, in fact, taken note of this particular incident as well as the uh, earlier one as well at um, uh, Amir Pet Station? Uh, because here in this case, I mean, it's it's just ridiculous. This uh, person was coming back home uh, after a day's work and ended up stepping on a wire and dying. That's uh, you know, the the civic authorities need to answer for this. Well, that's right. The civic authorities have been on high alert for the last couple of days because of the heavy rains. Uh, in the case of Monica, uh, a, a team has come down from Delhi to uh, uh, to investigate and find out how exactly a wall could come crumbling down considering the structure wasn't too old. And this particular case has been covered by media outlets. We are hoping that civic authorities take note of it and ensure that because uh, several uh, such cases coming to light in another case in Hyderabad, uh, an old man fell into an open drain, uh, another life loss. That is the third life in the last couple of days. So why is it that civic apathy is happening? Why couldn't that drain be covered earlier when they knew that rains are expected? Because when once the water inundates the entire area, it, like I pointed out earlier, navigation becomes very difficult, especially for pedestrians. So they're saying uh, they're scared to even go back home after work because either they can fall into a pothole or they can um, skid and fall because of the inundated uh, roads or else uh, the one of the slabs kept crumbling down from the metro station. 
it's making life very difficult for citizens of Hyderabad. They're saying that civic authorities need to step up and do something about it. Yes, absolutely, Paula. Thanks for getting us all those details. That's the unfortunate reality uh, that we are living in today, where there are, this is the state of our city's crumbling infrastructure. Uh, so much of civic, uh, combined with civic apathy, is really a death warrant for uh, citizens or, or people who live in all of these cities. This is just one incident that we got you from Hyderabad, the most recent one. But this is something we've been highlighting uh, for several days now uh, on Mirror Now. And we'll continue to highlight such instances until uh, the civic authorities wake up.